Winterberg in Germany. And on a snowy Sunday morning, we start our four-man bobsleigh World Cup campaign. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Germany's Hochsauerland. As the Königsklasse, the big dogs, the four-man bobsleighs hit the ice for the first time in this strange season. Normally, we should have started back in November, but it's been two-man all the way through up until this moment. So we have 18 sleds in our field, taking on this uh, 17 sleds in our field, taking on this Winterberg track, 1,300 meters. They have all trained and raced yesterday in the two-man. It's a fairly short start. The brow comes early, so getting in on this downhill slope is absolutely critical. Start record 4.98, goes back to 2014. Little dink in corner zero. The crew must be settled and motionless through these first few corners. There's no real pressure in corner two, the Omega curve, or in three here, but you exit uphill over this brow in corner four, and then start to pick up speed in five. Hear the wind rush as you drop three stories into corner six. Corner seven, the Kreisel. Crew squished down into the floor of the sled by the two big G-force pressures. Then corner eight into nine. Another big pressure corner here. And then down through the dink of 10 into 11. And from here, it's just a blur for the crew. In and into 14, uh, 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 over all the bumps here. And finally, the brakeman pops up about now pulls on the brakes to slow this 700 kilo, nearly 900 kilo actually sled uh, into the finish area. So it's all over in under a minute, but the preparations to do that have been going on for months. And there is Francesco Frugge, yesterday's race winner in the two man. And everybody will be glad for the four man to get back. Not least those athletes who have not made it into two man sleds and have been training and waiting for this moment to come. And there are quite a few of those. And this is really the key for everybody is to get that synchronization, that coordination, and to try and get the crew in the best way possible. Okay. During training, of course, you have your two-man and your four-man sled. You get a total of six runs. You can divide them up however you want. Seems to me that possibly most of our sliders will have done a couple of runs in the two-man and then concentrated on the four-man because for very many of them, the last time they drove a four-man sled was in the World Championships in Altenburg last February. So who's on our start list? Well, we kick off with Germany's Christoph Harfer. Going off at nine is the four-time consecutive European champion, Johannes Lochner, and at 10, the man who he would love to beat so dearly, Francesco Friedrich. Brad Hall has been forced to withdraw from the start list at the last moment, so we will have now 16 sleds in the field. Race one of the BMW IBSF four-man bobsleigh World Cup in Winterberg in Germany. And for the first time in three seasons, only a single four-man race here. 28-year-old German Christoph Harper kicks us off. Didn't race here in last year's win. His World Cup best in the four-man, eighth place in Lake Placid in December 2019. Big skid off the zero curve. Got a little too much of that awful bit of ice. His last four-man race was in Samaritz in February 2020 in the World Cup. And for Philip Verbeto in the back of the sled, it's a first race of the season for him. The other brakemen, Kevin Corona and Christian Hamas, have both started two-man races here. And Corona with four wins, six silvers, and five bronze medals in four-man, and a world championship gold here in 2015, pushing Max Arndt, is by far the most experienced of the crew and the most decorated. 135.3 at the bottom, and that is big speed. In real money, that is 84 miles an hour. So 54.60 is the time we're looking at for Christoph Harfer. And the track record is 53.48. It's a little humid, there's a little light snow before the start of the race. 
There at two, hanging up Kevin Corona. The man at four, Philip Verbeto, drops in first. Between his legs, Christian Hammers drops in. And Verbeto is the last to get in. And they ran a little long there into zero. Had a tap and a skid. And that will have cost Christoph Harfer time all the way down the run. Well, first four-man racing start of the season is very different from training. Next up, Ivo de Brown. Christoph Harfer was in his third World Cup start in a four-man. This is Ivo de Brown's 34th. Finished 16th and 17th in last year's two races here. The 34-year-old with Joost Duma. Joost making his first race start of the season. Dennis Venker. Raced here in Europa Cup in two-man in December. Janko Francic has done five of the two-man races this season. His last four-man was in Winterberg last year, though. Neat load as they all drop in, 700s slower at a 5.22. And Evo's best here, an 11th place finish in the second race in December 2018. It's been a double four-man weekend for the last two seasons. So four-man drivers have got plenty of ice time in the past, a little less this year. 97.2, best speed so far for the Dutch sled. That skid early on for Christoph Harper. That's cost him. Ivo de Brown, 1800s back. That goes out to 21. If he can get a top 10 result out of this race, I think he'll be pretty happy. 2700s back. It'll be difficult to tell until we've got the first run under our belts until we've got the first 10 sleds maybe where we find Lochner and Friedrich just where the mark is on this track this morning little shake of the head from Evo little skid here and they're all costly when the speed are low down from four to five the five six transition isn't easy in a two man no easier in a four man Great view from our cameraman at 11 with the super slow-mo. Good stuff from Peter. Second World Cup four-man start for Seaman Friedley. After 45, sitting in the back. This is his second sitting in the front. The only four-man World Cup start was in Koenigsee last season. He's got Adrian Fessler behind him, who had a two-man race in Eagles. Dominic Schlepfer, who has had, had a couple of two-man races. But behind him and the back, Roger Leimgruber. Last race was in the World Championships in Altenburg for him. Not a bad load, 5.24 getaway, a couple of hundred slower than Evo de Brown. Controlled it well through the zero curve down to turn one. Up to two, 1700s behind. We're behind to Brown at the moment. Really a hugely experienced brakeman in two and four man, but as a driver, he's still in the early stages of his career. Third best speed at the Chrysler. Little skid down into eight. Here comes nine. Three tenths back in third place. And whatever he gets out of this in terms of a result, the experience will be worth its weight in gold. One four-man World Cup start before now. Brakes come on, four tenths back, 55.01. Roger Leimgruber in the back, by the way, younger of two brothers who are sliding in the Swiss team as brakemen. So often in uh, winter sliding, it's a family affair. Yeah, that was late, wasn't it? See the crew getting bounced around. Lime Gruber, the brakeman, the tallest of the crew. Look how they're all wedged in. And the man at two, just trying to see if he was riding cannonball. Normally you sit down with your legs around the man in front. Swiss often have the man at two with his knees up under his chin which is a backbreaker. 36 World Cup start for Benny Meyer. Best here, third place in 2017 race one. 
He's had three silver medals, two bronze medals in four-man World Cup racing. His best in European Championships, which this is. Silver in Samaritz, bronze here in 2017. Sasha Stepan behind him has had one two-man race this year. Marcus Sammer has had plenty of racing. Started with Jürgen Lewacker back in 2012. And Christian Huber, the brakeman, didn't get to start in Innsbruck. That was his only uh, hope of a race before today. 1,300s up. Good, solid start at 5.09. They were starting very quickly in the two-man race yesterday as well. Benny Meyer, 1,800s up. Captured a bronze medal in yesterday's race. So European Championship bronze in the two-man. And Ketty Bile also captured the European bronze, sharing third place with Mariama Yamanka in the women's race. So it was a big day yesterday for Austrian bobsledding. Janine Fock also in the European medals. 2,200s up. That's not bad. Mixed messages from the coaches. Little applause from Wolfgang Stamper. A bit of a mm -mm from uh, Franz Josef Hoffman. But I think Benny will be happy with that. Thirty-six World Cup start for the driver. Marcus Sammer at three. Forty-third World Cup four-man start for him. He started sliding even before Benny did. And Sasha Stepan at two, dropping in there. The last man to hit the deck. Look at the choreography on ice. And that's what they spend all the time, dry land rehearsing it on push tracks and anywhere else they can to make that work well. Next up for Canada, Justin Cripps. First race weekend of the season in Europe for the Canadians and the Americans. 87th four-man start, 64th as a driver for Cripps. Ryan Summer behind him and Cam Stones. Last time they were in a four-man sled was in Samaritz. They won gold. And Ben Copewell, Copewell super experienced. 61st four-man World Cup start for Ben. And his debut in Lake Placid in December 2012 with Chris Spring and the Springer. The good news is he is back and back winning gold medals. Won the Europa Cup four-man race in Altenburg, the track that nearly killed him and his crew five or six years ago. That was yesterday's big news for Chris Spring. Justin Cripps, 500s in the lead over Benny Meyer. Had a good day yesterday in the two-man. Whoa, 900s back and rocking and rolling down through 12 and 13. Best speed at the bottom, the leader by a tenth. Now, can Cripps make his World Cup comeback after missing the first half of the season by claiming a medal here? It's not beyond the bounds of possibility. They were looking to the four-man to be their better chance. The last time these guys stepped out of a four-man sled in the World Cup race, they were the winners in Samaritz, but yeah, Cripps likes that, aren't you? He's back racing, he likes everything right now. And Justin Cripps, our race leader, off a 5.11 start. And you don't get to race over 64-man trips, or 64-man races without having a good feel for what works well. A little while down the bottom, below 11. I'll tidy that up in the second heat. Good start draw for Justin Cripps, fifth on the ice. He is our leader from Benny Meyer and Christoph Harfer. Five down and 11 sleds still to come. Next up, Frenchman Roman Heinrich, the 30-year-old, driving a four-man for the 17th time after 36 starts. 21 as a brakeman. Behind him, Leon Long, the Alan Alex and Steven Mondornaka. First four-man race for the brakeman at the back. His previous 15 four-man World Cup starts were for Monaco. Alan Alex, this is the first time in a sled in a race this year. 
best here for Roman Heinrich, 11th place in the first of the two four-man races last year. He was 11th and 14th. This is also the European Championships. And his best in the Europeans was a 10th place finish last year. The Europeans were in Koenigsegg, Bavaria. Uh, well, they were here last year, actually. It was the second race last year. Whoa, big skid. That's going to cost him a little bit of time. 5,800 back. And Heinrich across the line in fifth position. So Justin Cripps, the leader from Benny Meyer, Christoph Harfer. And Roman Heinrich drops in behind Ivo de Brown by six hundredths of a second. Well, there was that late flop and the big skid off five. And here through 11, right through the middle of the tracks, where you need to be, not rising at the end. And starting 5.20, they need to find a little more speed at the start. Next up, Alexei Stulnev. 33-year-old making his 41st World Cup start. He was sixth and fourth in the two four-man races here last year. He's had one World Cup bronze medal. Koenigsegg 2017, his best here, fourth place. Roman Koshelov at two, Vasily Kondratenko at three. Two golds and a bronze medal in his World Cup career of 45 starts. And Igor Gryatsnov on the back, making only his second ever World Cup four-man start. It's only his fourth World Cup race. He did one of the two-man races this season with Stulnev. In they get. 5.19, only 100 quicker than Roman Heinrich's crew. And this is the new sled. A new livery that we have seen on uh, one of their two Russian sleds this season. 2800s behind. This is currently a top four run. Fourth best speed. And he's still chasing Christoph Harfer, who lies in third place. How close is he going to be? Half a 3,200 back. He's already four tenths away. Will he stay in front of Evo de Brown? He does. 4,300s back to Brown, 5,900s back. A little bit of a sullen look from the coach, though. 54-7-1. I think we're going to see the bar lowered in a few more sleds. The question is whether Stulnev will be able to outdrive his own young teammate Rostislav Gajcukovic. All sorts of theories about the start, whether running in step helps or doesn't. And if it does help, is it really worth all the effort to try and synchronize running in step over such a short distance? A little high on the exit. And that makes the lower labyrinth a bit of a challenge. Mikkel Vogt next for Switzerland. 16th World Cup start for him. Finished in 20th place in race one here last year and then 11th in race two. Made his debut here in December 2018. Crashed in the first race. Went on to finish 12th in the second. He also crashed out of his last four-man World Cup race. That was in San Moritz. And Oliver Giga there wasn't settled as they hit the zero kink. The man at four. He's got Silvio Weber at two. Silvieri at three and Oliver Giga at four. Oliver Giga's had uh, a fairly concentrated career. Three races of his ten in Lake Placid. He's had now, this is his third in Winterberg. So six of his now 10 races have been on just two tracks. Mikel Vogt, eighth place. 5.25 was the slowest start, and he's not making up any ground at the moment. 
is eighth at the line. A little bit of a shrug there from Peter Ramsidel and a big shake of the head from Mikel Vogt. Having spent so much time in the two-man recently, his last four-man race was in the World Championships in Altenburg last February. It's a very different beast. Catches his foot getting in as well. And then watch the brakemen stepping up onto those back bales and trying to load. So Vogt is late getting in, doesn't have control of the sled, and Giga still up in the air and just sat down, but still trying to get the handles in as they bounce off the zero curve. And a lot of the energy that they have studiously applied at the start goes away. Well, our race being led by Justin Cripps for the moment, but next up is a man who finished fourth and first on this track last year, Johannes Lochner. 33rd World Cup start with Florian Bauer, Christopher Weber and Christian Rust. After pushing in the two-man yesterday, Eric Franke will now be rested until the World Championships. And this is our reigning European champion. Big bump off the zero curve. Really not smooth at all for Hansi Lochner. He's had three wins here, a silver, a bronze and a fourth. 16th World Cup four-man start for Florian Bauer at two. 19th for Christopher Weber. He's had 12 podiums out of those 19 starts, Christopher Weber. And Christian Rasp in his 30th World Cup four-man start. Nine wins, five silver, four bronze. Rasp also has had six two-man races this season with Hansi. including the weekend. And across the line, fourth place. This is the man who was fourth in race one last year and the winner in race two to take his fourth consecutive European gold medal. It's a big ask from there to try and do it again. 5.12, a very quick start, but I'm sure we will see a replay of the zero curve. Hansi gets in nicely. The boys all drop in behind him. But it's the zero curve that is an unmitigated disaster for the Bavarian. Christopher Weber there at three. A little late getting in, maybe. And then they hit the zero curve because they have a big skid. Hansi barely has his hands on the D-rings, tries to steer away. The sled is thrown up in the air, and that's 900 kilos being bounced up in the air. No wonder he's shaking his head. Next up, 61st World Cup start for Francesco Friedrich. Two silver medals in the European Championships. He's never been a four-man European champion. 1,200s up at the start of a 4.99 getaway. That is an astonishing start with Torsten Margis, Candy Bauer, and Alexander Schuler behind him. Forty-nine four-man race in the World Cup for Torsten Margis. 31st for Candy Bauer, only the 12th for Alexander Schuller. But Schuller's already got nine medals, in, uh, ten podiums rather, including six wins out of four-man starts. And Francesco yesterday scored his 45th World Cup win, which draws him level with the great Andre Langer. Across the line, 54-04 and a comfortable lead. 2400s over Justin Cripps. Well, Friesic with 11 four man wins. Eight of them shared with Torsten Margis, eight of them shared with Candy Bauer, six of them shared with Alexander Schuller. This crew are amped up just a little late, five into six. But look at the speed down at the bottom, half a kilometre an hour quicker than Alexei Stulnev. Still a little late there as well, things to tidy up for Francesco Friedrich. But that is halfway to win number 46, which we believe ties the great Kevin Kuska and Sandra Kiriasis. 
So Francesco Friedrich leads in the first heat from Justin Cripps and Benny Meyer. Ten sleds down, six to go. Heat one of the first four-man race of the BMW IBSF World Cup season here in Winterberg in Germany. And next up, a man who had a brace of seventh-place finishes in last year's four-man races here, the Czech Republic's Dominic Dvorak. It's his 36th World Cup start. He's 27th in the front seat of a four-man sled. Made his debut in Samaritz in February 2016. Three seventh place finishes, his best results on this track. Behind him, Dominic Sushi, start number 60. Jan Sindelar, start number 28. And Jakob Noshek, start number 33 in four man alone. And for this trio, their last four man race, the World Championships in Altenburg behind Dvorak. Fifth best start. 499 of Francesco Friedrich is going to make every other person on the planet look pedestrian. Sixth place at the moment for Dominic Dvorak. Hansi Lochner is fifth. Alexei Stulnev is sixth. And seventh on the split. Dvorak losing more speed. Only 11th best velocity into the final corner, so eighth at the line. Ivota Brown, 100th in front of him. There's a battle shaping up immediately. 500s back, Roman Heinrich. So he's eighth now, his personal best here, three seventh places. If he could go one better and catch Stulnev, 1700s ahead, that would be great for him, but there may be trouble in store for everybody at the moment. A little skid there, out of three. When the speed are low, it takes a lot out of the sled. Great view of the crew in the Chrysal. And how the crew ride the sled does make a difference. Same as having a passenger on a motorcycle. Third World Cup start for the young Russian Rostislav Gajcukovic in four-man. Made his World Cup debut here in Winterberg last year. Best result, ninth place in race two. That was the European Championships. But the last race he had in Winterberg was the Junior World Championships where he won four-man gold. So he'll have good memories of this place. Behind him, Mikhail Mordasov, 12th World Cup start. Ilya Malik, 33rd in four-man. And Ruslan Samatov, 25th four-man World Cup start for him as well. So he's got plenty of experience behind him. And Guy Tukovic, second fastest start. And fourth on the split at the moment. Stulnev currently lying in sixth, his much more experienced teammate. But the lack of World Cup starts. There's no indication of the talent of this boy. He is just newer. Still in fourth place, ahead of Christoph Harper. Ahead of two of the three Germans on a German track. Second best speed at the bottom, challenging Benny Meyer for third. Doesn't get there, but he is fourth ahead of Harper and Lochner. That is a huge first heat for Rostislav Gajcukovic. You saw from Hansi Lochner how easy it is for things to go wrong. Nothing went wrong at the start for these boys. 5.08, second fastest start of the competition so far. And he is absolutely revved up for this. 12th and 9th last year. Still Nev had a, a sixth and a fourth, but boy, those positions have been reversed in 12 months. Guy Chukovic, still relatively wet behind the ears in a four-man. This is only his third World Cup start in a four-man. He is our four-man junior world champion. He's gonna be a big name for Russian bobsledding, no question. Well, no Brad Hall, unfortunately. So Big T, Taylor Lawrence, Nick Gleason, Greg Cackett don't get to race with Brad. 
Next up, Patrick Baumgartner of Italy. 16th World Cup start for him. His last four-man race, not the World Championships. It was Koenigsegg in February. World Cup best in a four-man sled, 14th. Break handle stays out. Eric Fantazzini, Costantino Ugi, and Alex Bergener are the crew behind him. They have all raced in two-man this season, but obviously nobody's raced in four-man. Last January, when we had a double race weekend here, 21st missed the cut and 19th made it into the field for Patrick Baumgartner. Young Italian, seventh best speed. This is a top 10 run. This is a really nice looking drive from Patrick Baumgartner. For the first time, I think, in a four man youth Olympic champion starting to show the real pace that the Italians believe he's got. Eighth at the line. Manny Mahata should be happy with that. There were mistakes, yes, but look where he is. Look where he was last year, 21st and 19. Agreed, a bigger field, a much bigger field, but that is good. He's ahead of Ivo de Brown. He's ahead of Dominic Dvorak and Roman Heinrich and Seaman Friedli and Mikkel Vogt. Don't think we've ever said that in a sentence about Patrick Baumgartner before. They started 10th best on a 5.22. He drove himself into eighth place. And if he can tidy up some of those errors, Alex is still never ahead of him. And Hansi Lochner, maybe not Hansi Lochner, but Stulnev may be in trouble. So is it a day for World Cup bests? Well, only his third World Cup start for Mihai Tentea of Romania. His only previous World Cup races in a four-man were here in January last year. So this is the, the only World Cup race track that he's been on. He's got Raul Dobrek, Ciprian Daroxi, and Christian Radu behind him. All three have raced this year in the two-man. Romanians have been very studious about keeping their guys race fit, not leaving them at home on the bench. 16th place in race one last year. Didn't start race two. So 16th is his World Cup best in a four-man sled and his best here. 14th best speed of the seventh best start. 5.15 is not a bad getaway at all. But they've lost speed now, below the Chrysler, dropping down to 11th place on the splits. Can he hang on and crawl his way back into the top 10? Not with that speed, I don't think. It is 12th at the line. 400s behind Roman Heinrich. 900s behind Dominic Dvorak, but they are very happy with that. <laughs> now, I don't know if they know the start time, but it obviously felt good. Little bump out of four down to five. Look at the crew buried there in the sleds. Getting rattled around from five to six a little. But they will be pleased with that start. 5.15 for Mihai Tentea and the crew, seventh best in the world. Next up from the USA, our final two sleds in the race and a first ever World Cup start in four-man for Jeff Gabois. Made his two-man World Cup debut in Europe, that is, yesterday. This is fifth four-man World Cup race. Three of them were in Lake Placid, one in Calgary. Adrian Adams behind him, 27th World Cup start for him. New boy Boone Niederhoff for the 27-year-old in his second season on ice. Ice makes his World Cup debut. And Chris Horn behind on the brakes, only his ninth World Cup start. But Horn already with one World Cup medal. He was on Hunter Church's sled that won bronze in Innsbruck in the four-man last year. Adrian Adams, last World Cup race for him. 
Lake Placid, December 2016 with Cody Bascu. It seems like forever away. He knew the Hopper has raced in Europe before. He did Europa Cup at the end of last season. But for Gadwa, this is all brand new territory. Six trips down this new track to learn the track and to get the hang of it in a two-man and a four-man. How did he divide his time? His fifth World Cup start is just about getting down and getting experience. 55-23. So 14th off the ninth best start. 5.17, that's a pretty decent start. But rented sled and a new track for everybody to deal with. And there is Jeff Garbois. Adrian Adams at the front of the sled, Boone Niederhofer and Chris Horn. Little skid from five to six. Garbois enjoys the four-man more than the two-man. One of the aspects of this sport that you've got to be good at is learning tracks, because even if you've been there lots of times before, each year it's iced and hand-shaped. They do tend to be a little different, especially when we get to Samritz next year, which is custom-made by hand every year. Final sled in the first heat is the USA's Cody Bascu. 33rd World Cup start for him. His 32nd was in December 2019 in Lake Placid. World Cup best, silver in Park City in 2017 for Cody. He's got Blaine McConnell at two, Carlo Valdez at three, and Kyle Wilcox at four. Best result here for Cody Bascu, an 11th place finish in December 2017 in this hybrid US sled built by Richard Laubenstein and the crew a couple of years ago. Ninth best start, out to 14th place, ahead of Mikkel Vogt of Switzerland. Oh, late. Hanging on there, he probably had to haul it off to get it down into the labyrinth. And across the line, 15th place ahead of teammate Jeff Gabois. Been a while since he's raced on this track, though. And again, like Jeff Gabois, limited time to prepare. Probably the crew just happy to actually be racing instead of sitting watching it on the TV. Blaine McConnell is eighth World Cup four-man. Carlo Valdez, his 30 seconds, spent a lot of time racing with the great Steve Holcomb. And Kyle Wilcox, 11th World Cup start. His last race was in La Plan in January 2020. Blaine McConnell made his debut here in December 2018. And Cody, a little bit to think about before the second heat. A little bit to think about for everybody because this man is once more on top of the pile. Francesco Frigic leads Justin Cripps by a quarter of a second. With Benny Meyer a further tenth back in third. And that's where the medals will come from. Rostislav Gajtukovic, 2100 out in fourth place. He'll have a battle on his hands with Christoph Hafer and Hansi Lochner trying to come back at him. Here's how they are then. Cripps in second. And Benny Meyer in third, Francesco Friedrich in a different class. Rostislav Gajtukovic, though, mm, potential if somebody makes a mistake for him to take a medal here, but he'll be fighting off Harfa, Lochner, Stulnev, and the rest of them have all got tight battles on their hands. A few hundreds here or there. There will be no Brad Hall in the second heat either, so 16 sleds will go from 16th down to first in our final heat of the weekend. And we will be back at 11.35 local, 10.35 GMT, which is 55 minutes from now. We'll see you then. Take care.